Online, you can find us, kzoz.com. Uh, coming up here about an hour and a half, we'll be giving away tickets to go to the Slow Craft Beer Week. We'll have Comedy Festival tickets. Uh, yesterday, we had a chance to talk to some of the comedians. That's a great little podcast, kzoz.com on the Jeff and Jeremy page. Or if you follow us, you can check it out. Pretty funny guys. We if were you also- subscribe. The podcast is there too. We and were also talking. I got a good look in behind the world of stand up comedy and how cutthroat and ruthless it is. Yeah. Uh, we were also talking it's about. Sorry like, to interrupt you. Um, conspiracy theories. Yeah. Yesterday on the show. Uh-huh. Jeff has his theories. I have my theories. I have a conspiracy theory, and it revolves around farmers markets on the Central Coast. Oh. And that is that every other farmers market, and I'm going to make a lot of people mad. On the Central Coast? On the, on the Central Coast. Every other farmer's market tries to ride the coattails of the San Luis Obispo farmer's market because it is the finest farmer's market. Hey. <laughs> hey, Whitney. Whitney's here from the Downtown Slow Association of Farmer's Market. It's the truth. The slow farmer's market did not exist. There was nothing going on on Thursday nights down on Higuera. Okay. Would there be so many farmer's markets around the area? I think not. I bet there would, but I will support that we do promote the word farmer's market into people's brains. So yes. I feel like the recognition of a market, but every community needs their produce. Absolutely. And, I'm not so. saying it's a bad thing. Yes. yes. I'm saying, I'm just saying that it's, there should be a lot of thanks bestowed on the right. city of San Luis Obispo and their farmer's market for making all the periphery farmer's markets <laughs> well, so successful to the point where like, if I say to my kids, because they're so they're so it's, it's so entrenched into their brain, right? What goes down with downtown Brown and bounce houses and you right. know f- fine treats to be eaten by kids like strawberry shortcakes and things like that. <laughs> if I say to them, "Hey, I'm running down the farmers market in Paso Robles," they're like, "I want to go," and I'm like, well, you "Just beware, it's not <laughs> not the downtown same. Downtown Brown's not going to be there. I have a probably conspiracy not strawberry theory. shortcake. There's probably not a bounce house, and that is that the slow <laughs> farmers market, the one that's been around for almost forty years, right? yeah." Is literally picking off and taking out farmers markets one at a time. Did you hear what happened in Morro Bay? What? Did you hear what? Did you hear what happened in Morro Bay? That is not you, true. Whitney from the Slow Farmers Market. Do you have any comments on what happened in Morro Bay? If I was running that market, <laughs> it would still exist. That no. is my comment. <laughs> I saw. I heard on the news that they're not going to be doing a market anymore in Morro Bay. Yeah, their Saturday market was canceled. It, I think it was run by the chamber, and I don't know. I don't know all the specifics or whatnot. Um, Are you like? Is that like a yes? No one, way. Or is that like a Crossing bad day for you? Markets. No, I think. It's farmers really market sad people, because, organizers. No, I think it's sad because that community relies on it. Those businesses that it was set up in front of rely on yeah, it. Yeah, but now they're going to come to slow, right? Not necessarily. Would, not necessarily. No, oh. a lot of those farmers, I mean, we're very fortunate to have farmers come to ours, but uh, those farmers maybe can't, they don't have enough produce to go to a market of our size or there's different <laughs> restrictions or whatever the case, or they just don't have the means to travel. So like, what I'm getting at is the oysters. Can we get the oyster people at more I'm on slow it. Mar- farmers markets? I keep seeing their Instagram. Are you the one I to talk? Really... I don't know if you're really the one to talk to about this. I mean, you come I know here... I'm not, but I can facilitate the conversation <laughs> and Who's... pass along the message. Is there a, is there a CEO of the farmers market, a president? The, so we uh, contract with the slow County farmers market association and mm-hmm. they oversee like, board of five. directors. They have a board of directors, yes. That's who I need to talk to. Yeah, you got to get in there. Can you get me Put in? Put on your fancy suit and can you get me, Can you get me in? So yeah, I get the, is I'll it get the, you an invite. Is it the grasslands or the Grass Valley oyster people that come? It is the Grassy Bay. Grassy Bay, yeah. <laughs> Something. Strike through. Something grass. Since we're on the subject of the term farmer's market. Yes. Are you at all salty that Sprouts is opening up and they use farmer's market in their message? Oh, yeah. Great, Only great question. They s- do they spell it correctly? No, they, they, is wait, it owned by don't a divert farmer? The question. <laughs> <laughs> don't divert. Wait, wait, how, is, how are they supposed to? Sp- you have to put the apostrophe after the S. Okay. The, the possession. I don't know. I could look it up and on most Facebook. of the times it's spelled wrong. I don't know how they smell it. Spell what it. is the deal with that? Okay, I don't know anything about this. So do you? Do you? Do you know anything about it, Whitney? What? Like it's a store, but it, they call it a farmer's market. So do you walk in there and there's pop up tents everywhere? Like I don't understand. What What should I expect? I don't know if I've never been in. I don't think I've ever been in. Yeah, a you, don't, you don't. I'm going to have to go do some like reconnaissance and yeah, okay, just recon. pretend to be a, For a my very normal limited, customer limited research <laughs> uh, they don't spell it with ep- apostrophe at all oh that it's just it farmers just market that it's farmers and, well market. it's the farmers market it should be before the s right showing possession There's, of the market there, if, no, if it was no, it's after to one farmer if yeah. one farmer if the guy's name was sprout <laughs> i'm farmer sprout 
and this is my market, then that works. Is, but there is no apostrophe oh, whatsoever. Oh, that's right. Whatsoever. multiple Correct. farmers, it's after. This market belongs to the farmers. Jeff yeah. and I were not the best but, at English in college. That's okay. But, but we did take it. If it's just, <laughs> if it's just no apostrophe... What kind I don't of know what that means. What kind of interpretation is that? Open Laziness. To? It means that there's no ownership, that you can't find out where the produce came from, and you should just come to our market downtown Thursday night so you can meet the farmers. Wow. And get your produce. So that was not, that was right there. There was some punches thrown. <laughs> so while it's a farmer's market, we don't know what farmer, you know, like who, who we can't well, pinpoint is who it the, the farmer insurance? is. the insurance? Like what <laughs> kind of farmer is this? We're talking about this new store that uses farmer's market in the name that's going to be over at the Madonna Plaza. And I know that they're, I saw in the news, they're hiring people right a now. A lot you know. of people. Yeah. So you should go just, you know. Should I go apply? Uh, little, uh, See what they say? You're not undercover, yeah, you undercover, want some, incognito, you want and in, apply for a job. You walk in and you're like, you want somebody with experience, here's my resume, <laughs> bam. Farmer's Market tonight starts at 6 o'clock, goes until 9 o'clock, downtown San Luis Obispo. Uh, we're into February now. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, it's almost March, isn't it? It's so funny how that happens on a short month. But um, <laughs> and, and you guys, you guys have had to deal with a lot of weather. I know. Not the case tonight. Not the case tonight. So the weather, if you look at the report as a summary, it might look like it's raining. But if you look at the hourly, there's like a random shower of maybe-ness happening at like 1 p.m. So the weather is in our in our favor, thankfully. Finally. Finally. Finally, it's going to pan out. Yes. And that means that people that have wanted to scratch that farmer's market itch, this is your opportunity. That's right. Tonight, uh, what is, on what's on tap at the market? On tap at the market, we have... Every street is lined with entertainment. We have Ryan Galinas on Oso Street. He is one of my favorites. He's semi-new to the market. Him and his brother do cover songs, and they're just crazy talented. What I love is when I watch people just sit there and gnaw on like a big beef rib. While watching is, music. Was there watching these people? And it just looks very <laughs> odd. You know I, you know what I don't like about like, it? Mm, yeah, exactly. This is very good. I like this music. I know. Mm. But it, it really sucks about it is when the person's done with a the song, they can't clap because they're gnawing on a big beef rib. Yeah, so 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 flinging barbecue so, sauce everywhere. So it's this weird, uh, awkward, not silence because they're gnawing on a big rib, uh, on, on this big beef rib. There, there's like this, this awkward... <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is to have dinner at the market, and I'll run around, and I'll get a corn on the cob, and yeah. maybe a bratwurst, and then maybe something else for dessert, or a slice of pizza, or the oysters are there. Um, what, so, uh, is the corn on the cob going to be there tonight? Heck is yeah, the bratwurst is. wagon going to be there tonight? Heck yeah, it is. Is the well, we know all the restaurants that are along there that, that yeah. do such a great job with barbecue and tri tip and ribs and all that stuff is going to be there. Who does the pizza oven? Is that just uh, that's just Epi's? They're not. There, they will be back next month, I believe. Okay, yeah. Right. So. There's a Vietnamese place I found down there that's really good. A Lotus, is yeah, it Lotus? Lotus, probably yeah. Lotus. They yeah. make. Have you had their like? I don't even know what it's called. It's like a fried fry. egg thing. I don't. It's not like a pancake. Maybe they call it like a fried egg pancake or something like that. No, it is. I have not. You should have it. It's phenomenal. I don't even know what it they is, but I noodles. ate it. Spice. That's that's some spice. Yeah, they there's have some, legit food. There's some e- there's some heat behind that noodle. I remember my wife got it, and I was like, let me try some of those noodles. Ooh, I like that, and. It, You'd like you would like it. You like spicy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there maybe that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to go to the market to Sweet. have dinner. Yeah. And then uh, they always have, I don't know, if the, is the donut people going to be there? The donut people will be there. Jeff turned me on to that. Dude, I mean, they're so right good. there, fresh made donuts. I know. They're so good. They come, they make them right there. You get a dozen donuts for five bucks. And they're mm-hmm. like these little mini donuts. And just, they like melt in your mouth. Plus, of course, the, all the produce. If you get the mixture of powdered and cinnamon, cinnamon. sugar, yeah. you shake it up in a bag, you get the benefits <laughs> of both. <laughs> and then, um, is there a certain produce you want to talk about? Is there anything in right now uh, that the farmers are... Like- I do want to highlight that Lavender Smith, they are the lavender vendor. They are celebrating their 20th anniversary as a vendor farming lavender in Slow County. So, I think that's pretty cool that they've stuck it out for 20 years and they have some amazing products. Um, I've been on a lavender latte kick with the coffee shop downtown called Le Petit Paris. Uh, and so it's kind of nice to be able to find Wait, fresh La lavender. Petite Prairie? La Petite Prairie. How, are you, how does one get on a lavender kick? It just sounds good. And I had it and it's lavender and almond milk. And if it's done right and there's just like a hint of lavender, you don't want to like <sighs> douse it, right? Oh, yeah. I've had, a, just... I've had like a cookie with lavender in it once. Too much? It was, no, no. It was actually oh, pretty good. good. Yeah, I they was, do it right. It's great. I was very apprehensive I... when somebody said, here's a cookie with a plant I'm with you. And I was like, eh. I don't know if I like flowers in my cookie, but it actually ended up tasting really yeah, good. Yeah, lavender's supposed to be good for healing and ailments and whatnot. So I did not know that. Get some um, lavender. I'll tell you what not to try is, oh, is no. lavender ice cream. That sounds... Why not? Well... It, it sounds good, and I was not a fan. I, what about I, rosemary I saw it in a movie. Ugh. 
What about basil? Basil. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to stick to butter pecan. Okay. I like butter pecan. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, Strawberry uh, basil might be pretty good. Have, you know Negranti's Creamery up in yeah. Paso? They yeah. make a legit strawberry basil. It's oh, really? delicious. It's right down the yeah. street. I go, yeah. I go get oh, and then they got, they got the night creamery, right? Right down the street yes. after the market. Have if you, you eaten eat, there? Uh, yeah, I've been there. It's cool. I had the caramel one. It was just ridiculous. They but they make it right in front of you. Cream. Anyways, there's lots going on downtown slow tonight. Get to the farmer's market. It starts at 6 o'clock. And uh, you're going to do some recon, and we'll talk to you next week about what's going on over there at this new yeah. farmer's market grocery store. I'll do some store. market research. <laughs> we'll get you your, um, your like, what are those, Mar- Marco, uh, what, what, what the glasses? Marco Rubio? No, no, oh. no. <laughs> Marco no. Polo? No. Oh. Marco. Uh, those are the only Marcos I know. Marks. What's with the Marks? The guy, what, what's the guy's name? The Mark? Yeah, Groucho Marx. Oh, the, gro- the Groucho Marx glasses. We'll get you the Groucho Marx glasses <laughs> and then you can go in there and say, yeah, I'm here for a job. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Don't miss a moment. Subscribe to the podcast on Google, Apple, YouTube, and Podbean by clicking on Jeff and Jeremy at KZOC.com.